the city has an amazing amount of talent when it comes to the jazz community, among other things. Denver Arts and Venues works to uh, uplift the arts in the city of Denver, and uh, the Five Points Jazz Festival is there to really support the neighborhood, but also to celebrate the history of jazz in the Five Points neighborhood. There's a very, very long history of uh, great jazz musicians coming to play in Five Points, and uh, we want to keep that history alive. I think it's important for the citizens of Denver to be able to enjoy the fruits of Denver, and part of that is the incredibly rich and fabulous jazz community in Denver. There are so many great jazz musicians in Denver. It would be a crime if we didn't let people come and hear these great musicians play. So um, I love that it's free. I love that we can invite the entire city to come and party with us and have a great time listening to jazz and bring your kids and dance in front of the stage. We're really excited to have over four stages and 30 bands that are playing the festival this year, all of them local. So being able to support local artists and provide them not only a place to play and highlighting them on outdoor stages, but also paying them for their work is really important. I think that the way that Denver Arts and Venues has prioritized pay and treatment of these musicians is, is really setting a bar. It's saying that we get it, um, that music is valuable, your craft is valuable, the work that you have invested, the time, be it hours or years, is, is worthy of compensation and payment. And I consistently see Denver Arts and Venues setting that bar just a little higher almost every year, honestly. Denver Arts and Venues has one side of the agency that's our venues and that would be Red Rocks, the Coliseum, the McNichols Building, the Arts Complex. So we manage all these spaces, and then the money that comes in from what we're doing with these venues, in turn supports cultural programs like the Five Points Jazz Festival, grants for artists and cultural organizations. We like to call it good times for good. Come to our facilities, buy a beverage, pay for your parking, eat some food, and the money that you're spending when you're at the venue helps to make sure events like the Five Points Jazz Festival happen and that we are funding grants throughout the city for our artists. I'm really excited about this year's lineup. Um, I, I was looking at the schedule this morning and I realized that at four o'clock on all four stages, we have bands that are led by women. And, you know, jazz can tend sometimes to feel like a very male art form. And so I'm super excited that we have four really, really great bands led by women. Women in jazz in Colorado and Denver. Um, we are definitely making a mark for ourselves. We support each other. So you'll hear everything from straight ahead jazz to a bit of soul to some bebop. Uh, to contemporary jazz, so we try to put in a really, really well-rounded program. Uh, we have a great committee that works really closely with us of community members to make sure that we're bringing that richness and diversity to the festival. People should know that there are lots of ways to get to Jazz Fest. You can obviously drive your car um, or you could take an Uber or a Lyft ride your bike, there'll be bike parking available. It's one of the first festivals that happen every year, so it's wonderful to have people come out, spend time in Five Points, check out the food and the vendors and listen to music, and just really celebrate how great our local music scene is, specifically our jazz scene. And I really want people to see what Welton Street is today, to want to come back to Welton Street, to not just come one day for a jazz fest, but there's jazz music happening along Five Points all year long. We're all a part of this jazz legacy, the old music, the new music, the new fans, the old fans. Um, bring your kids and tell a friend to tell a friend and get down there and support Denver Arts and Venues and support all of these local musicians um, at the exact same time. 
stay elevated by subscribing to the city's YouTube page and stay tuned to our social media channels for more content. Don't miss our new episodes of Elevating Denver, premiering each month. Thanks for watching, Denver.